So you've been busy in the past few months. Um, you started a new company, Lea Gold Mining mm -hmm. in Mexico, yes. um, which acquired the Los Fielos Gold Mine mm -hmm. from Gold Core down in Mexico. Right. So why the timing now? Why the return? Well, I, I saw a couple of years ago that the end was coming to the bear market in gold. Yeah. We, you know, we've seen a bit of a, uh, a bear market uh, in a, what is a long secular bull market, but a bit of a correction that lasted five years. And I saw that coming to an end, and I thought, well, it's time to do one more time what we have done several times with Wheaton River, which yeah. we started in 2001 and became Gold Corp, and then with Endeavor Mining in 2009, which is still there today. And the idea is to build a gold mining company by way of acquisition and building mines. And uh, Los Feliz is the first, so it's probably going to be many acquisitions. Well, I that. interviewed the CEO, uh, Neil Woodyear, uh, a few months back when you acquired the Los mm -hmm. Feliz Gold Mine. You are the chairman of Lea Gold. So I'm going to ask you uh, something that I posted to, to Neil. Now, you're in the GGB in Mexico. Um, when you're dealing in Mexico, you're confronted with security issues, especially mm -hmm. in that region, and taxation issues with the Mexican government. How do you plan to overcome those challenges? Well, I think we've dealt, we, we, we were well aware of the security issues, and Gold Corp had done an amazing job of Im implementing security procedures. We've taken it a step yeah. higher, just in case. You never know. And I, and I think we have a very good system, security system in place. I won't go into it, but it's, it's, it, it, we've, Gold Corp never really had any problems with respect to security of the mine or its workers. So I, I, I think we've got a good system and I'm quite comfortable. And you're anticipating this is going to be a, a huge gold mine, major gold mine within yeah. the next four years? Well, it, it, it's already producing 230,000 yeah. ounces a year. What we're going to do is take the underground deposit, the Bejamal underground mm -hmm. deposit, uh, and put that into production. That's going to give it another eight-year mine life at a much lower co cost of production. Well, well, with the cost, when when Lea Gold was projected, the peso was much lower. Mm -hmm. Now that it's come higher, how does that change your model? Well, it doesn't change our model that dramatically because we're 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 looking to increase production by combining both the open pit and the underground, mm -hmm. which we're going to put in production by 2019, and we're actually going to increase production hopefully to about the 300,000 ounce a year production profile level. I'm going to switch gears completely here. Uh, you're also in the entertainment business. Uh, you started line just a little bit. You Love just that. started lines, get entertainment, Thunderbird Productions, and uh, Thunderbird's behind the Blade Runner sequel. It's coming out this summer, well, right? Well, Thunderbird owns is the intellectual, half of the intellectual property of the uh, Blade Runner franchise. We did not produce it, but we own half of the rights, underlying rights. So that means we have um, the ability to earn income from everything that is Blade Runner. So whether it's franchise, um, it's, uh, merchandising, television shows, sequels, yeah. and it was produced by Alcon, and it is coming out this October, uh, and I have to say I can't say much about it because I'm under an NDA, but I, I think it's going to be an but, incredible but this film. This must be fun for you, right? Because you're involved in entertainment. You have one of the world's best olive oils. I can, I can vouch for that. I because forgot to bring you a bottle. I, I, have, I have bottles at home. I love the olive oil. Yeah. Um, so, do, you know, do you purposely kind of get out of the mining space? Is this fun for you? Yeah, food is fun for me. Yeah. Um, uh, the entertainment business is not fun, but it's certainly interesting and you're always learning. And don't forget, I spend most of my time doing philanthropic work. That's really yes. my love. Yeah. Um, Helping Syrian uh, refugees. Yes, and, and, and you know, poverty alleviation, all sorts of things. That's what I truly love. I invest in the gold business because that's a great way to pay for it. <laughs> well said. Well, thanks so much for okay. uh, stopping by, Frank. It was fun chatting with you. My pleasure. And thanks for watching this edition of Kitco's Gold Report. We'll be back tomorrow.